Located at the foot of Mount Sung in Henan Province, Shaolin Temple is surrounded by more than 30 peaks, which formed a virtually impenetrable barrier in ancient times. The same peaks were also a magnet for Buddhist and Taoist devotees who held them as sacred ground, often climbing them as part of their pilgrimage or for quiet contemplation. This morning, I'm following their lead, climbing Mount Sung to pay our respects to Bodhidharma, the founder of Shaolin Kung Fu, who is believed to have meditated in a nearby cave for an incredible nine years. Everyone start running! Hurry up! Hurry up! Catch up! Little did I know that this climb, it's sort of a exercise in itself. Like everything these Shaolin monks do, it combines exercise and training. In this case, running up nearly vertical stairwells to the top of this mountain. My legs are burning. As we're running up the mountain, I feel I'm gaining insight into what Shaolin Zen is all about. It's acceptance of obstacles, acceptance of pain. And I think that was a brilliant insight as I was panting and crawling up the mountain. Catch Hurry up. and catch up! Huh? Everyone, relax for a bit. Jason, this is the cave of the Bodhidharma, and enshrined within is a statue of him. Bodhidharma sailed across the ocean from India to China to impart Zen in his teachings. The foreign language wasn't an issue as he adapted various methods to teach Zen to different people. During the time where he meditated while fixing the wall, he developed the now famous manuals called the Muscle and Tendon Changing Classic and the Eight Section Brocade. There's five peaks on this area of this mountain. This cave is situated in the middle peak, so it's got to be a fairly auspicious place and has good feng shui. There's something pretty mystical about this area as the, the, the winds are blowing, the mist, the, the mountain face, the cicadas are chirping. I couldn't imagine what it was like back then. Hurry up, hurry up, catch up! Be careful when descending the mountain. So once again, on our descent, it's another training session, it's another exercise. Everything we do is part of this effort to better ourselves towards Shaolin Kung Fu. We are training for strength and body agility today. Understand? Understood. Understood. Let's practice crawling down the steps. Go! I'm really getting worried. It looks really difficult, it looks really steep. It looks like I could miss a step with my hand, fatigue, you know, my muscles give out and I start planting my forehead into the concrete stairs. Ah, oh, come on. As I started doing it, I thought, not bad. I'm descending, I'm thinking I'm doing okay because I'm keeping up with the monks. They're not too far ahead of me. Another challenge occurs. I have to catch up to Sao Song, and actually, I'm thinking to myself, I want to beat this kid. You know, he's like beating me at all these like challenges. Hurry up! Hurry up! Keep your body steady. Jason, overtake Sao Song. Hey, that's cheating. They're real sneaky, these monks. It's been a tough morning, and it's about to get tougher. In the past few days, I've been training hard to master the legendary Shaolin staff. Wielded properly, it's a phenomenal weapon that can deliver long-range strikes from multiple directions. Used poorly, and it's a dangerous handicap. This afternoon, I joined the rest of my team to undergo a test to show if we've perfected our weapons of choice. 
Only a convincing performance will ensure I move into the final stage of my training. Judging us is a 20-year Kung Fu veteran of Shaolin Temple, Master Yen Chuang. Wow, Master Zhao, he has this burly disposition. He doesn't show much emotions. Master, how is his performance? Yes! Yeah, man! Yes! I'm standing there waiting for my turn to perform and and I'm watching the other monks. I'm just blown away. These guys are almost perfection. You know, they're getting the confirmation from Master Zhao. I call you back. Yes! I'm still like kind of holding my bottom going, okay. I'm feeling a little more confident. I know my moves, but there's still that piece of uh, the puzzle that's still not there. Yan Shui, Jason. Hopefully there's no serious reprimanding if I lose. I just might get tossed out of the temple. Anything can happen. Good. Continue to practice hard from now on. Go over there now. Yes! <laughs> that was pretty close. Just made it by the skin of my teeth. I'm pretty relieved. I had a good partner, he had good timing, I had pretty good timing. Master Zhao is uh, very gracious with me. Uh, I know there's some things that are probably not perfect, probably not exact, but I think uh, the more I work on it, the better I can get and the more precise I can be. 